Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here back with another video today. This is a video tutorial on how to install Windows 98 in VMware. Now, uh, this is the first edition of Windows 98, if you want to call it that. Um, you know, there's also the second edition, but we're going to make a separate video for that. This is the um, first version of Windows 98, not the second edition that's in this video today. So um, that's what this tutorial is going to be about. So we're just going to go ahead and get straight into the video. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to open up VMware. Uh, the links will be in the description for um, VMware, uh, also WinRAR, uh, Windows 98. Uh, actually, I think there's a link on WinWorld for that. No WinRAR link. So you'll need VMware, and there will be a link for Windows 98. Uh, actually, yes, you do need WinRAR. That will be in the description. So VMware, WinRAR, and also Windows 98. So, um, and then for this, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up VMware, create a new virtual machine, and we're going to do a typical installation and click next. And we're going to do a ISO image, and then we're going to browse for our Windows 98 ISO, which mine is right in here. And it's going to detect Windows 98, so click next. And then uh, it's going to bring up a new virtual machine uh, wizard here uh, to ask what the name and the location would be. I'm just going to leave it as Windows 98 and click next. It's going to ask for the default maximum size uh, here. You can leave it at the default of 8. It's not going to take up much of anything. I'm going to store it as a single file and click next. And then we're going to uh, customize hardware. Uh, you can see some of the things here. Processor, memory. Um, we're going to bump the memory up uh, to uh, 512 megabytes. I would not go above a gig. Um, let alone two gigs is what I you don't need to go up above, but um, I wouldn't go above a gig. 512 should be as good as you should get for that. Um, and then click close uh, if you're in there, and then uh, leave this checked and click finish to power on the virtual machine. And then uh, if this comes up here, uh, just go ahead and click OK. And it's going to come up with this. Go ahead and do the second option, boot from the CD-ROM, and then start Windows 98 setup from the CD-ROM. It's going to go ahead and do a little bit of loading here. And it says, welcome to the setup, Microsoft Windows 98. So we're going to click Enter to continue. We're going to configure unallocated disk space. Um, you can enable large disk support since it's above 512 megs. And then go ahead and click Enter. And then boot from the CD-ROM again. Start the setup from the CD-ROM one more time. And then it should go through the process here of formatting your drive here. So you can see it's doing that. And then after that's finished, it's going to prepare to install Windows. So click Enter to do the scan disk. And then here is the Welcome to Windows 98 setup. So go ahead and click Continue. And then it's going to ask the directory, leave it at the default, and click Next. Check for installed components and available disk space. And then we're going to go ahead and just do the typical installation. Click Next. Install the most com common components and click Next. And then it's going to ask for your computer name. Um, I'm just going to I'm just going to type Windows 98. And, you know, it can be something simple. Click Next. And then uh, choose your specified location. Click Next. And then click Next to begin the copying files process. So this process will not take long whatsoever. As you can see, it's already above 15% and counting. Uh, it's already going up to 30 now. So uh, it says the uh, estimated time remaining is 21 minutes. It's not even going to be close to 21 minutes, not even close. So um, just let this file process, uh, the copying, keep going here. It's not going to take long, like I said, whatsoever. We're already at 75%. And then uh, once, it's, once it's finished, uh, eventually we'll get to the point of our first uh, reboot so um, and to get out of the host or the virtual machine it's contr left control and left alt together and there you see uh, we're at the first restart point so go ahead and restart now it's going to say getting ready to run windows 98 for the first time it's going to come up with a setup wizard here it's actually going a lot quicker than i expected um, and then type in a name I'm just going to type in my channel name and then uh, go ahead and click next and then go ahead and accept the license agreement. Click Next. And then it's going to ask uh, for a product key. So um, you're going to need to enter this in right now. 
and uh, I have it pulled up here so that I can enter in this product key so um, it should be uh, if it's not included in the description with this uh, it'll be posted up here um, on this while I'm typing it in so just uh, be aware of that if the ISO from WinWorld does not include any uh, any sort of product key so after you got that entered in uh, I'll let it sit here for a little bit and you can pause and look at this product key if you need to enter it in click next and then uh, it says it saved all the information and click finish to continue installing Windows 98 so just needed some stuff there to um, help finish the installation process you can see it's detecting plug-and-play software or hardware excuse me and uh, the time just rapidly is going down down and down so um, and now it's going to do some more uh, hardware detection this is non plug and play hardware and uh, this part shouldn't take overly too long as you can see um, may get stuck at a blue portion uh, around 35 percent looks like uh, it's kind of going a little bit slower but um, if uh, it says at the bottom in the if this uh, progress indicator stops for a good long uh, long period of time and there's no activity uh, restart the computer but we should not have that problem here uh, at all so um, and it says it may take a few minutes it's not gonna it's not even gonna take longer than a minute uh, to do um, and then it will go through the uh, final steps uh, you'll see there will be a window that pops up on the top right of like the start menu programs um, and some final configurations uh, and all that good stuff so we'll see uh, you'll see that once this is done uh, doing this hardware detection here it may ask for another reboot uh, it will for sure I'm not sure if it does it here or if it does it after the window comes up um, and then uh, you'll see it's trying to do a little bit more hardware setup and then it will ask for that restart point here so we'll go ahead and click restart now and it's going to uh, say shutting down that's gonna power back up you can see it says Windows 98 um, it says uh, it's completed updating files and it's going to continue loading into Windows so it's, it's updating the configuration files um, and it's already done doing that even though it says that this may take a few minutes but it's not going to take a few minutes it will go a lot quicker than that so of course it says it's going to detect some more plug and play hardware um, which won't take very long right now and then it's going to come up with your time zone options here um, so if your mouse is being kind of finicky it may do this to you um, there really is no there's no option like there is in uh, VM or VirtualBox that says integrated uh, some mouse integration uh, you just want to go up to uh, you want to press control alt to get out to your host computer go up to VM and click grab inputs and then uh, you can see now that the mouse is starting to catch on um, instead of moving around or being very very glitchy so specify your time zone however you'd like and then click close and it's going to like I said it's going to go through some final steps here time zone control panel programs on the start menu windows help uh, MS DOS program settings tuning up application start and then the system configuration is the last thing that will do now this part takes just a little bit of time to complete uh, it may look like it's stopping at some points um, but just be aware it's just doing some final things before it restarts for the final time and uh, loads you up into the operating system so um, just let it sit and do its thing you can see the estimated time it's going to go down uh, real quick because um, this does not take minute, uh, that many minutes to complete like I said it's uh, right now it's taken almost nine minutes so um, it's going to ask for one more reboot and then we're going to click reboot now and then it's going to start up Windows 98 once again uh, again it's going to update configuration files and load windows and then once that is all said and done it should bring us up to the logon screen where it will allow us to log in to the desktop so you'll see it takes a little bit to kind of think and load here on the first time and then it will ask um, to log in or enter in a password but you don't have a password so just click OK it's going to find some hardware um, so kind of just let it do its thing it's going to install some things and then it should bring you to the desktop after it's done updating some more system settings um, you can see it's still doing some more stuff and it comes up with this Win welcome to Windows 98 now there is no audio um, right now 
and um, so we can close out of that, close out of that, um, and then uh, you know if you go to, uh, for example, if you right click on my computer and click properties, it'll show up Microsoft Windows 98. Um, so that's good that that shows up. And then once that's done, I mean, you can click I finished installing down here. I don't know if the uh, VMware Tools works uh, with this, so you can try going down to VMware Tools. Um, and you can see here, um, it's going to ask to override. Uh, it says that the uh, guest, it's locked the uh, CD-ROM. So you can override this. And uh, it may try to do VMware tools, but who knows? It sometimes doesn't work with older operating systems. So we'll try and do a complete installation, but it may not work. Um, looks like, yeah, it says this machine does not appear to have the latest version of Microsoft HTML. Um, you can try to install it now. It's going to try and install some uh, video drivers, mouse drivers, um, and then uh, so uh, of course it can give you an error here. Um, so um, if that comes up, just cancel it. Click finish. It's going to ask to reboot. Go ahead and click yes. And now this may not guarantee audio or anything like that. Like I said, there was a display driver that was installed, but that did not say anything about audio. So once again, VMware tools or anything like that, any additional installations like this, they are completely optional. You do not have to um, do anything with VMware tools um, at all. So um, that pretty much does it, to be honest with you guys. Uh, that's how to install Windows 98 in virtual, or not VirtualBox, VMware. Um, there will be a separate tutorial for the second edition of this, and um, you can see the colors look a lot better now with this new graphics driver installed. Because um, if you go to properties here and we go to settings, now there is 32-bit color, um, or 256 colors, if you will. Um, it could ask you to restart. restart so, um, And you can up the resolution a little bit, actually, too, if you try. Yep, it's going to do that, but it's going to go off the screen. So... Um, there you go, guys. That is how to install Windows 98 in VMware. Thank you guys for watching this video tutorial. Um, if you thought this helped you out uh, or if you like these tutorials, be sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to comment down below with any future video, video ideas. And if you guys are new to the channel or have not done so already, been watching my tutorials, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That means a lot to me. And uh, if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, Go ahead and hit that post notification bell and you will be notified whenever a upload comes out on my channel. Thank you guys for watching this video tutorial and I will see you guys in the next video.